victory. I don't know what you're building now. Maybe some of you are building a house or building a shop or whatever, and you're having challenges. My message to you today is persevere. Persevere to victory. Your labor shall not be in vain. Hallelujah. Amen. The idea of a community library was conceived during the Alpha Beta Education Center's 20th anniversary celebrations in 2008. The Alpha Beta Charitable Trust, which is the community service wing of our school, has been involved in the building of several community development projects to date. I think they have already been mentioned by the MC. And so, it is with great honor that once again, we have been able to partner with others to build this community library that is to be opened today. We could not have done it without the support of the Ghana Education Service, who made the site available, and we thank you. And we thank you. The parents of Alpha Beta who assisted in the fundraising efforts. I thank you to all the parents that are here today. The students and staff that also took part in a, so many activities to help us raise funds. We thank you. Clap for yourself. And the various companies who donated in kind towards the building and the resourcing of this library at an approximate cost of 400,000 Ghana cities. You know, some people think that you need money to build. Well, I suppose that you do. But more importantly, you need wisdom and determination. And so it was, we were able to get a list of donor companies and individuals who helped to make this problem project possible and I want to thank them today. If you're here, just give us a wave, please. They're not in any particular order. A Soja Man Company Limited. Batimat Ghana Limited. Atala Limited. Tisako Enterprise. Macmillan Books. Gold House Fast Foods, Afrisan Ghana, E Toys and More, GPG Group of Companies, Discount Books, The Honorable Ursula Osu Ekufu. Alpha Beta Education Center. We thank all. Our Alpha Beta is going to be responsible for the maintenance and the running cost of the facility. The aim of the ACT Library is to promote the reading habit and develop the joy of reading in children aged between 5 and 15, many of whom do not ordinarily have access to the wide range of fiction, non-fiction, and school textbooks, games, and puzzles which the library will expose them to. Those who cannot read will be taught. Those who can read will be taught to read more fluently. Other activities in this library will include reading and writing competitions, storytelling, art and craft exhibitions, and ICT activities. It would be futile now, in the year 2016, to have a library that did not have access to ICT. You know, there will come a time when books may be, I don't know if I can say obsolete, but e-books will have overtaken what we now know as a book. So we also have to value the, the books that remain in the system, the paper books, but then we also have to prepare children for the technological age. We hope that this library will be a special place for the children 
of the Nasarawa community. A place where they can develop their skills and learn many new skills which will help them through life. The library will also facilitate an adult literacy program for community members who desire to read and write but who may have missed earlier opportunities to do so. Now all these services will be free. All that is required for membership is a five CD membership fee for which they will be issued a membership card. That is all. Membership cards will be color coded and they will look something like this. I think I have some here. So, different colors admit children on different days. That's the only way we can control the numbers that we are hoping will want to use the library. So, color coded for different days for different groups, different age groups or a mixture of age groups. The library will be run by two full-time staff, as well as teacher and student volunteers from Alpha Beta School, and indeed any other school that would love to volunteer to help in this library. Or even any individuals in the community who think they have something to offer and would like to give their services free of charge. Adult literacy will take place during the mornings when the children are supposed to be in school, and the children's library sessions will be in the afternoon. The library is able to accommodate up to 80 children per session. Actually, you can actually get more than 80 in the building, but we don't want to do that because already the building is very, very warm, and if you have more body heat in the library, it's going to make it an unbearable place. So we think that 80 will be okay. We are counting okay. on the community yeah, leaders, many of whom are here today, and it gives us great pleasure to yeah, have our yeah, chief here and our assemblyman and other community yeah. leaders, because we really need you to encourage the children and the people yeah. of this community to take full no. advantage yeah. of all the services that this library has to offer. Okay. It would be a shame if it was there okay. and people didn't come, and I know that's not going to happen, because I think everybody no. sitting yeah, here yeah, yeah knows the benefit no, and trouble, sees yeah. the value of this community facility. So please, okay. encourage people to come, to learn to read, to write, to paint, to draw, to access ICT um, facilities. So that this community, this library community uh, facility will be the blessing that we want it to be to this community. So, thank you. There's only one thing left for me to do. And let me just start by saying, our special guest speaker today is a dear friend and a great inspiration to so many. In fact, she has inspired this library and many other libraries in Ghana and other parts of Africa. She is the founder of the Osu Library Fund, which has built community libraries all over Accra, in Osu, in Teshi, Mamprovi, Nima, Polygono, and she has done this through the benevolence of donors all over the world, but especially in Canada. In addition, the Osu Library Fund continues to set up community libraries in schools or any available space in any community that wants to have a community library. From the north of Ghana to the south of Ghana, OLF community libraries are there and they are a blessing. Actually, any space will do because this very special lady started her first community library under a tree in her garden in Osu. Yes, that's how determined this lady, this very special lady is. And that was 25 years ago. And boy, look at where she has got today with community life. Her vision 
has always been to promote the 